Suppose that y is inversely proportional to the square root of x. Whenever we're told y is inversely proportional or y varies inversely, we have inverse variation. Looking at the notes below, if we are told that y varies inversely as x, we use the inverse variation equation y equals k divided by x, where k is the constant of proportionality. But in our case, we're told y is inversely proportional to the square root of x, not just x. And therefore, in this problem, we use the inverse variation equation y equals k divided by the square root of x. For part a, we're asked to find the constant of proportionality k if y equals 15 when x equals seven. And we're asked to round to three decimal places. So to find k, we substitute 15 for y and seven for x. Performing the substitution gives us the equation 15 equals k divided by the square root of seven. Notice to solve for k, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by the square root of seven to undo this division. This gives us 15 times the square root seven equals k divided by square root seven times the square root of seven. Simplifying on the right, square root seven divided by itself simplifies to one, giving us k is equal to 15 square root seven. So the exact value of k is 15 times square root seven, but we are asked to round to three decimal places. So let's do this using our calculator. So we enter 15, second x squared brings up the square root, seven and enter. Notice how there's a two in the fourth decimal place, which means you round down, k is approximately 39.686. And again, we are told to round, so we should enter the rounded value of k, which is this value here. Part b, using the k from above, write the variation equation in terms of x. Again, using this rounded value for k and our inverse variation equation, we substitute this value for k, which gives us y equals 39.686 divided by the square root of x. This is our inverse variation equation. And then finally for part C, using the k from above and our inverse variation equation, find y given that x equals 18. And then round to three decimal places. To do this, we substitute 18 for x. So beginning with the inverse variation equation, We substitute 18 for x, which gives us y is equal to 39.686 divided by the square root of 18. And now we'll go back to the calculator. We have 39.686 divided by the square root of 18. Enter. We have a zero in the fourth decimal place, and therefore we round down. Y is approximately 9.354. So now we know y is approximately 9.354 given x equals 18. I hope you found this helpful.